Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's an hurling way to start the video. Under pressure like a stone song. So you know this, I bought this uh, pretty little thing, you know, it's black, you know, it got buttons <laughs> and shit, you feel me? You know I'm gonna put this nice. in the video, right? Um, oh. Blast? Am I the only one that thinks Captain Hook is better than Savage? Me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a minute since I recorded a video. Um, a whole year and some change to be exact. But shit happens, life happens. But you know, I have the 11 Pro Max and with all this like corona stuff going on in the world right now, the world is in quarantine. We all have to stay inside, stay in our homes. We can't go outside, can't go to work, can't go out to eat, can't go anywhere. I figured why not just use this time to get back on YouTube? <laughs> why not just make a bunch of videos, do some stuff, let out some creativity, you know, occupy some time. Why not? So, for those of you who don't know, my birthday's on Friday. I'm an Aries, March 27th. And I figured why not just do a try-on haul of some of the things I bought. I was supposed to be going on a trip for my birthday. Um, and my mom's birthday, because her birthday was last Friday. Um, she's a Pisces, though. She's the last day of Pisces. But yeah, I was going to take both of us to Puerto Rico. And all this, like, coronavirus stuff, you know, just obviously tarnish those plans. And I was going to put my mom at risk. If it was me, I would have went. And since I just have all this clothes staying here now, eventually Instagram or Twitter, you know, whoever is going to see it. And I decided why not just do a try on haul. Fuck it, right? So yeah, I got most of the stuff off Pretty Little Thing. Because when I like go on vacation, I love like buying from them. Always have like 40 and 50% off sales. Like that's the best. Like, I like the more than Fashion Nova. Um, I used to be like a huge misguided and nasty gal type of girl. When Pretty Little Thing became like, you know, like kind of like new and hip, I kind of got in tune with it. And I've been shopping there for a while and I honestly don't really have too many complaints. Um, yeah. I've had more complaints from Fashion Nova and I've shopped there fewer times. So that should tell you something. So this box is not from Pretty Little Thing. It's um, the box that I got my coat in. Um, everyone loves my coat. Um, I just used the box to put like all the clothes in because you know them bags. I just end up throwing them away. And this is like all the stuff. Like this shit is literally mad heavy. This is all the clothes I'm gonna be trying on for you guys. First thing I got is this cute ass bathing suit from Poshmark. Um, it's a one piece and it's like, I guess like zebra. It just says black and white and it has like the textures on it. Like it has like the, I don't know if you guys can see it. Like the little prints on it. Like I just live for texture, like live, like I love it. Like detail at the top, it's like super cute has the little you know scoop in the back it doesn't show too much booty it wasn't on sale or anything i got it for regular price it was 16 dollars though that's not bad and i got it in a size 8 us i would put this together with like one of those little like i knot skirts that's like kind of like sheer or organza or like kind of like you know see-through kind of material and like you keep it real simple like no top because it's kind of like a bodysuit so just like the little skirt big hats or some nice shades 
some nice sandals. I feel like with this, the look should have a big tote bag. Like I just like envision it with like a big tote bag, the skirt, little side slit, you know, see the thighs, real mini, not too long. Definitely above the knees, covering right below the booty. Real nice, I see the vision. The next thing that I have is this bandeau top. I got it from Forever 21. It's a size small medium. I've never been a small in anything ever before in my life. Like this is literally my first time being a small in anything. So it's kind of a new experience. I've always been like a large. Cost six bucks. Cheap you know little top whatever i would wear this like if i was either going to the airport me personally i would wear probably like with my sussy fleece camo sweats wear this and put like a hoodie on top of it for the plane and if i get it off the plane and tie just throw the hoodie off and i'll just have this and i'll be nice and cool till i get to the hotel throw on some shorts um i could do either denim or black shorts with this that's like the great part about this and i can throw on any sneakers with this it's nude the next thing i got is there's a hat ah uh, i love this hat so this is like the stuff that i got from pretty little thing now because basically everything is from pretty little thing i love this hat so much like my mom and my family was saying like oh it's you got a winter hat and i'm like it's a bucket hat bucket hats are for the summer obviously it's like you know block the sun and all that stuff like we wear a bucket hat in the winter time, I'm pretty sure it'll probably like fly away. And they were like, no, it's a winter hat because winter hat is the material. But me being me, I just love texture of how things feel and how they look. So yeah, I love this hat and I was gonna wear it honestly with this bathing suit. I feel like it would have been such a fucking look like the looks that i was gonna give for this birthday trend ugh. like y'all understand like y'all really don't y'all don't but it's all right because as long as all this shit over i'm out y'all gonna see these fits regardless booyaka all right, so this hat originally cost $18, but I paid $9 for it because it was on sale. It was up 50% off. A little two-piece bikini weenie. Gotta get the money green. It's high-waisted, obviously, as you can tell. I got the ring detail. I love it. I actually plan on wearing this um the actual day of my birthday. Um and I was gonna wear it with my friend's hat. Shout out to Jadeja. These are honestly the only fitteds I wear. Um and I bought this for my birthday because I was gonna wear this together with this white dress that I'll show you guys next. With this dress. Mm. It's like this. Oh, let me tell you how much I paid for the bathing suit. So the top was $18 and the bottom were $18, but obviously they were both 50% off, so $99. So I ended up paying $18 for both instead of instead of paying $18 for each. It's super cute. I've actually had it in my wish list for Mad Long. Um, it's like so long and then actually I'm not gonna hold you I didn't really know like how it would fit me because I saw it on the model and I was like hmm like she's like slim you know I don't really know still doesn't fit me the best but it does fit me good and then shout out to Katima because she I believe I'm pretty sure she did um she wore this dress for New Year's and then that's when I was convinced I was like oh my god that dress looks so fucking bomb like now I really want it. As long as we don't wear it at the same time, we don't have no problem with it, so. Katima, she looked mad good in there with her red boots and her locks. I was like, oh, yes, girl. 
it has a zipper on the back that's what i really liked and it really surprised me about it because when i saw the dress i was like damn like how the fuck am i gonna get into this shit oh shit. look at that shit that shit is huge you could just slip right into that shit so you know what's so good about this dress full beat face and like you like do your shit and your shit is not set yet and like you rushing all you gotta do is just slip right into this shit and you're gonna be good you're not gonna get no makeup on your dress it was originally 52 dollars, but i paid 26 bucks for it i got it in a us six um so yeah this is how i'm gonna explain to you guys my body is super weird the top i got it in a size four because my boobs aren't as big anymore then the bottoms are a size eight because i'm real thick down there <laughs> oh whatever that's what my grandma told me or whatever so next this is the next bikini i got um i wanted a bathing suit like this for a minute so, yeah alia j wore one like this um i think it's like a girl trip she had um like to miami or some shit like that i don't fucking know but it was super cute and i can never find it on pretty little thing and then i found it this is a super cute like gray silver color and it comes with the well it doesn't it doesn't come with because no bikini sets come together in pretty little thing you have to buy the top and the bottom separate but i personally kind of like that because like i said before i'm a four in a top and an eight in the bottom so that allows me to get my sizes and adjust to the bathing suit correctly instead of getting all a size four because then like the bottoms would be super small or getting all a size eight because then the top would be super big bottoms in the eight and the top in the four um the top was 28 dollars and that's because of the wire detail um and then the bottoms were 18 so i paid nine dollars for the bottom and 14 dollars for the top so that's actually not bad like 20 something dollars i guess um i can't do math i'm like delayed 22 dollars but <laughs> thing i got are these cute tops i got two colors I just thought they were super cute. What the fuck is this? Lint. Lint liquor. <laughs> but yeah. I got this um, cute little crop top. It's a ribbed crop top. And it has like the little ruched detail on both sides. And it's super cute because I already have it on this one. That's why I just want to show y'all on this one. As opposed to doing it on that one. You see how it's like super cute this is when you leave it down normal and this one you ruch it up see the difference super cute though they're both super cute and they fit me perfect like they fit me like nice and like tight but not like too tight where i look like fat or like suffocated and it's like the nice amount of like snug where it makes my boobs look nice and it lifts them up and i'm totally wearing these with no bra this summer and both of the tops are 22 dollars so they came out to 11 each because it's like you're getting two for the price of one basically if you really think about it because it's 50 percent off so if you put two and two together it's basically just one so it makes me feel better about when i shop it makes me feel like you know it's a better deal it is a better deal. Um, what else is in the bag of goodies? Oh, this is probably like one of my favorite things out of this entire haul. Um, I've always seen like leggings like these and I've always been like, oh, like, no, like, I don't know if that shit would look cute on me. Like, um, I probably look, you know, weird on me because, you know, I got an eye booger. Hold on, child. That's not cute. You know what I hate when you got an eye bugger when you wear makeup? Because when you take it out, then you see the little dent in your corner, like the missing spot of where the makeup was on top of the eye bugger. But you know what's crazy? Like when you first wear your makeup, that shit don't be there. That shit be formulating like over time. And that's be the worst. It'll be looking weird. This is probably my favorite item out of this whole entire haul. Like 
these leggings i've been wanting leggings like these like for so long but i never like bought them because i'm like oh i don't have the body for it it's not gonna look like that great on me because you know my ass not that fat like <laughs> my waist is visible it's not like waist to wear like snatch like you know what i'm saying but with this it makes it look like that like they are so nice and like comfortable and like snug like that has the nude under it like it just looks so like cute and it don't look like cheap i've seen bitches wear leggings like this and it's look like bad and cheap and ugly and not cute but these they look good they were 35 dollars, but they came out to 17.50 after the 50 percent off super cute i love them let me show you the blazer oh did i tell you the sizes for the other two tops well if i didn't tell y'all um for the orange and green top those both in a size four for the leggings yeah so i got a size six i have like really bad like experiences with blazers when i buy them because like i always want them like to fit a certain way and i really don't like my boobs so i don't like v-cut stuff because i don't like how my like, like the boobs like like, I just don't like how they look. Like, I can't wait to get my boobs done, to be honest. Like, I just don't like that. Like, I don't like it. I have, like, really bad luck with buying blazers because they never fit right. So, I always, like, I never wear them or I always return them or they just sit on my rack or my closet and just collect dust until i decide to like sell it on poshmark or depop or give it to somebody basically the whole point of me saying all of that is because i ordered this blazer in a petite because when i always ordered blazers i they always fit me huge so i was like let me get the petite so it could fit me how i would want it to fit me um but i got the petite and that that shit completed it did not fit me because i'm not no petite bitch like i'm thick a petite six and that probably that didn't fit me if i i feel like if i would have got a petite eight that probably would have fit me good um so i returned it and got a size six regular and now i'm not gonna hold you like it fits me like where the corset part is but like the top like i could like fit a four at the top but if i've got a size four the corset Part probably wouldn't fit me because I'm still a little fat like you know I haven't really lost like all the way I wanted to lose like if I would have like been like going mad hard like the past couple of months excuse me I probably would have been able to fit a size four in the blazer and it would have looked the fuck good but this just still looks good and then with the leggings I feel like it is such a look with like some nice like dramatic heels like a statement heel $55 and it costs $27.50 after the 50% off. This is another dress I had got. So I had gotten two dresses. Um, Remember the white dress that I showed y'all that I said my friend Katima had and I was gonna wear the day of my birthday with the green bikini. So I had gotten two white dresses. I knew I wanted to wear a white dress that was like kind of like oversized and gave me like a button down kind of effect um but i didn't know like which one was gonna fit me um i actually ended up really liking it um i actually ended up liking both so i actually kept this one but then i was like it actually is kind of big for me and like it would be like a cute little summer dress if i was going to like brunch or like to hang out with my girls or whatever but i actually just ended up giving it to my mom um, but it's super cute. It has like this like ring detail like on the side. We were trying to figure out this fucking tie around for mad long to be honest. And it, it actually fit here. And, like my mom is like a ten or like an eight, and like I'm a six. So, um, but I got this in a size six. Like that's that should tell you like how oversized it is. Like I could have probably gotten like a size four, and it would have probably like fit me better. But, like, my favorite thing about it is, like, the sleeves. Like, that's probably why I don't want to get a size 4. Because I know, like, the sleeves probably won't fit me the same. The way these sleeves fit me, you guys are going to see, like, in the video. Oh, my God. I love it. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The reason I picked the other dress though is because I kind of didn't like like the black details on the dress. I feel like it would have thrown my outfit off. Like little shit like that like will bug me. Like that's how like that's how much I pay attention to detail. That dress I got in a size six and it cost forty five dollars, but I ended up paying twenty two fifty. Oh, another favorite. We're like halfway, I think. Okay, so <laughs> my mom lost it when she saw this, like literally. She was like looking at me like I was insane, like I was crazy, like she was like, where the fuck do you think you're going with that? And I was like, listen girl, the bigger the hoops, the bigger the attitude, and my attitude, baby girl, my attitude is real. A oh, bam, bam. J-Lo, Bronx, New York, clank clank, in your face vibes. Real like Puerto Rico-esque vibes. I was definitely gonna wear this with like a corset. Nice denim jeans. <laughs> Keep it real nice, real calm, real cute. You know, I laid out for some drinks or whatever, right? Let me put these on for y'all right now so y'all can really see. <sighs> My mom was like, how do you expect to move your face with them earrings on? And then my aunt was like, no, she can't. She's not going to be able to. And I'm like, y'all bugging the fuck out. You see me? Versatile. My aunt was trying to say I should just wear one. I should just keep it here. Like, I should just wear one and then get, like, a clutch earring kind of thing. I gave up that shit because I'm like, um, I'm used to get like keloids and stuff like that. So like, I will always like have difficulties with like my piercings healing, especially like on my earlobes for some reason. Mom has spent like $700 on a pair of a diamond earrings for me and them shits even irritated my fucking ears. Like pure white gold but i think that's another thing too like i think white gold irritates my skin like i'm a gold gold type of girl like please if you like me please don't ever get me silver ever i'll I like I, i'll accept it and i'll i'll probably wear it but just know deep down i'm gonna always be like why the fuck this nigga didn't get me the shit in gold I'm not ungrateful because I'ma still wear it and I'ma still take it and I'ma still be like thank you. I'm not gonna be like other bitches like oh say that, right? or I'm gonna you know I'm not gonna be like other bitches and tell you like ew I hate this I don't like this. I'm like oh my god thank you babe I love it. <laughs> Just know deep down I'm judging you because who the fuck do that? But yeah. These are the earrings or whatever. I know I look good in them too. Let me see. I'm not gonna make a um an Instagram story. I look so fuck good. Like I know I do. Let me put the freckle filter on it too. When you put the freckle filter on that shit, bit <laughs> little flat, this little front flash on a little bit. Put the little, y'all know. Put the little off the shoulder. Like I feel like when I take selfies now, I always look worrisome. <laughs> Like, I always look like I'm worried about something. Like, I never look cute. Like, is it because I'm trying too hard to be cute and just not being cute? Like, I think I'm not fucking ugly. Is it just me? I look like somebody's mom in this picture. Whose mother am I? Yeah, these earrings. <laughs> they cost twelve dollars or whatever. Hold on, right? They cost twelve dollars. Oh, I paid twelve dollars. Yeah, they cost twelve dollars or whatever. And I paid six. Uh, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably seen these pants. 
every Instagram bitch has these pants. Every bitch on Instagram got these pants. It is the, let me get the exact name for y'all. Got it from the shape section. So the shape black PU split hem pants. Every bitch on Instagram got this. It's not vinyl, but it's like a fake leather. I like these better because I bought the vinyl pants from Pretty Little Thing. As you can see, I'm going to show you the difference. These are the vinyl pants. These are the first pants that I got from Pretty Little Thing. And I don't like this material because this material really like sticks to you. Like, oh, like, like, it just like stick. Like, did y'all see that video of like Kim Kardashian trying to put the latex on, on the shade room? Like, that's what this material is. And it's not even like, it's like an uncomfortable material on the inside. As you can see, it has like that soft spandex so you don't feel like that that is like sticking to you because i've worn these pants like when it's like kind of hot outside like 70 degrees and i haven't been hot in them like i've been perfectly fine like not sweating nothing so they don't get you hot like so that's a good thing like i just don't like the sound it makes but, like when you walk in because i have really fat thighs so my thighs be rubbing against each other so it'd be like you hear them sound like that as opposed to this like that but yeah like that's like the difference in the materials if you guys could tell so they're high-waisted which i like um they have like the split at the bottom um the only thing i wish i wish one that it had a zipper like i thought they had a zipper i could have sworn they had a zipper and then i wish that because this is the front so i wish that the slits were on the inside as opposed to being on the outside that's just my personal preference though they still look good like i got a bunch of compliments i got the white version this is not the exact version of that like it is but it's not this is the petite version one and the reason I didn't buy, they do have that one, the regular, same exact version um, the sh from the shape section. Well, they do, ha they had it because it's actually sold out. So they only had it in plus sizes and in petite sizes. I was like, let me go up two sizes so I can make sure it fits. I should have gone with an eight. Like they don't fit bad. They fit good. But it's just like a little bit of space in it. Not like they're not like super big where I have to take them back because they're like sagging on me. As opposed to like the other ones, like these, like these, um, oh shit, like these, the ones that I had bought like a while back from Pretty Little Things. Um, these are US eight, regular, not petite, not shaped, just a regular eight, and they um i i don't like them because they're actually kind of big on me now and they have like that bulge there that kind of looks like i have like a ball sack and it's like very unattractive and that's kind of like why i don't wear them anymore um if anybody wants to buy them i do have them up on my depop i'll have the links to that in my description below as opposed to like the white ones they don't leave that like bulge they just kind of like scrunch up but like in like a cute like rock star kind of like denim way you know what i'm saying it looks cute both of those were 35 dollars each so i ended up paying 17.50 each after the 50 percent off because when i reordered it i caught another 50 percent off again because i ordered those two pants when i reordered the blazer this is the shape nude renaissance print mesh square neck body hon dress that's a lot but it's exactly what it fucking said. Get into like the tailor. It looks so good on me. But just besides my boobs basically falling out. I just need to take it in a little bit right here at the top. Um, It's a US 6. It's really, really short. Like, like if I wear this and I'm drunk and I start twerking, my dress gonna lift. Like my whole coochie. Because this shit is short. It's short, but it's cute. And I love it. Like I can't wait to wear it to a brunch. When all this coronavirus shit is over. Originally $35. And I think it was 40% off. So whatever 40% off is from that is how much I paid. 
um the shape silver metallic knitted ring detail bralette but it's really like a little crop top kind of thing fiasco going on it's so cute it gave me real j-lo vibes too everything gave me j-lo vibes i love j-lo i used to be obsessed with j-lo when i was little obviously i'm gonna try it on for y'all you know but just to give you a little gist real quick And the original price was $22, but I paid $11, obviously. I'm tired of saying this, guys. I tried to get the point 50% off. And obviously, no, this video is not sponsored because who am I? Nobody. I'm just doing this because I like Pretty Little Thing. And people always ask me about, like, oh, where you get your clothes? Like, you know, always ask me for your styling tips. Always ask me fashion questions. So, and people always think, you know you need like the most expensive stuff to put a whole fit together and it's like you have one little cheap thing here one little expensive thing here one little middle thing here and combine one little thrift shop thing here you know and just combine all that little stuff together and make a great ass fit like fit don't make you you make the fit keep that in mind the next thing i got is this cute ass cover-up um i was like kind of indecisive because i didn't know if i wanted to get this one or the white one but i got this one because i planned on wearing it with like my all white one piece body my all white one piece um swimsuit that i got from pretty little things like ages ago and it's that i was like one of my favorite one pieces because it's like super high it makes me look like i have no waist it makes me look like my hips is like bomb. make my boobs like really sit it's like you just expose and you just look the fuck good the fuck snatch the fuck good the name of that cover-up was the sage beaded crochet fringe hem dress um so yeah and it was 17.50 i think it was on sale all right, so this is the last um item that I have. And I honestly can't tell you how much I paid for it because I bought this not long ago when I was going to Aruba last year. It does not fit me. I will be posting it on my Depop. Um, it's like a snake skin. Like, it's, I love this. Like, I just love the colors. I love, like, it's just so tropical, islandy. I'm having fun on vacation. Give me a drink. I'm getting drunk. Day party on a boat vibe. Like, and it has like a nice little tie around, make it look all cute and stuff. It's still, like I'll show you, it even still has like the hygiene sticker on it. Like I've never worn it. And plus I try on all my like bathing suits with a, um, with a thong on. I will also be posting a bunch of stuff um, outside of my closet because I've been taking this time in quarantine to just take out stuff that I don't like, I don't wear anymore. And um, I've donated some stuff, but like some stuff is like not stuff that you would see like homeless people in. So yeah, if you guys want, I'll be posting the link. I'll probably like be post, I have posted some items. There's some items up if you guys want to check out what I have up so far. But I'm definitely planning on posting some things by the end of the week. Um... Other than that, um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe. Keep yourself protected, guys. Like, stay clean. Wash your hands. Keep your germs to yourself. Like, this is a really scary time that we're going through. Um, and hopefully we can just get through it. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, any advice, any comments, anything that you guys want to ask me tell me anything you guys could either um message me on any of my social medias or you guys can comment down below um if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys would want me to do future videos on um i will definitely take suggestions i actually do have like a couple videos i want to do this week so definitely stay tuned for that um, I definitely will be posting a video on my birthday, so stay tuned for that. See you next time.